Today's Bible study is titled Galatians Christ Gave Himself. Today, we begin a dashboard study of Paul's epistle to the Galatians. Having already delved into the first two chapters of Galatians in our Why Paul? series some of this will be a repeat. But per our apostle, repetition is good to write the same things to you to me indeed is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Philippians 3 verse 1 Also, an understanding of Galatians and the companion information in Luke's description of the Acts 15 Jerusalem Council is pivotal to understanding the foundations of right division. So, let's dig in. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia grace be to you in peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Galatians 1 verse 1 to 5 KJV Often the initial verses are skipped over as just introductory, but this will not be one of those times as this understanding is vital. Let's look and see. We learn who is writing, to whom he is writing, and by whom is the authority of the writing in the first verse. First, we note that the author of this Galatian epistle is the Paul, an apostle, and also all the brethren which are with me. And we find Paul's apostolic authority is not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ. This is an important distinction and claim on the part of Paul, as we will see as he develops the intent of the epistle. For Paul's calling and authority as apostle to the Gentiles and the body of Christ is one that is totally by and from risen ascended and glorified Lord Jesus Christ in heavenly places. Further, his calling and authority are not involved of men and earth, particularly in the message he was given of the Lord to deliver. And the calling from the Lord Jesus Christ also included God the Father, who raised him from the dead an important distinction since the mystery message given Paul was something the Father kept secret since the world began Romans 16 verse 25 and Ephesians 3 verse 9. And we learn the epistle is directed to the churches of Galatia, example, written to a number of early Christian communities in the Roman province of Galatia in central Anatolia. And to these intended recipients Paul offers grace be to you and peace from God the Father, and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Do not overlook this or dismiss it as just part of the salutation, for when Paul acknowledges grace and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, we need to acknowledge that this was part and parcel to his calling as apostle as he is the apostle of grace, the basis for peace with God. Finally, Paul notes of Jesus Christ that he is the one who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world. Galatians 1 verse 4 this is huge, for here we see the two aspects of why Christ gave himself at the cross. 1. For our sins, making the payment that we could not make and thereby providing salvation for those who would believe the gospel and receive by grace through faith per the revelation of the mystery and 2. The continued results of our salvation by which he was able to deliver us from this present evil world example, the living impact in our lives post our salvation by grace. And all of this was done according to the will of God and our Father to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. If you want to see just what the will of God in your life is, you need to acknowledge that this must needs include acceptance of what is provided by Christ giving himself for our sins and further that we should be delivered in this life from this present evil world. The will of God is revealed for all his own, if his own will but look to his word and see what it says. Believer, know the will of God. And know that the will of God is fully revealed in His Word, rightly divided, so that all can know. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.